Hi folks, Tom Bailey, Suburban Tool. Well, we've had some inquiries in the mail on how do you set a master grind to two degrees? Good question. Now, setting it to two degrees, you can look at the vernier, which gun, can you see that here? You know, we have one degree increments here, but if you really want accuracy, you're gonna have to do a little differently. You're gonna have to use gauge blocks. Well, how do we do that with gauge blocks? Well, we have a two and a half inch sign bar built in. And that sign bar goes from the center line out to this pin. That is two and a half inches, just like it would be as if you had a sign plate or a sign bar. It's no different, except this is a rotary one. So, if we look at the table, which by the way comes with the master grind, if you look at the back end, it does really show how to do it here in our booklet, but some people may not have the booklet or may want to inquire on it anyway. Here's a table of consonants and it shows a two and a half inch sign bar. So we would look this up and see what do we want for two degrees. Well two degrees it tells us what it is but we don't have gauge blocks thin enough for two degrees. It would require uh, 87 thousandths and two tenths with the gauge blocks which we can't get that combination with this set. So we can do it a little differently. Let's look at seven degrees. Why seven? Because we can add five over here and move it to just two. So we'll, I'll show you how we set the stops. It's pretty simple to do. So to do that, we're going to need, after looking it up in the table of constants, we're going to need 304 thousandths and seven tenths. So how do we get that combination? Well, we start out with the seven tenth block, and we're going to do the hundredth block, and then we're going to do the hundred and four thousandths block, which happens to be this guy. And we're going to ring them together. Remember, we talked about cleanliness and lunchtime. See you, Glenn. Now, I like to make sure that I've got the right blocks because who knows if some bonehead didn't put these in the wrong slot? Not possible, right? Not a good thing. So, I like to double check it with a pair of mics. And I'm talking about mics for just a moment. You know, I have my own micrometers that I don't let anybody use. Why not? Because I know the feel. I can split tense with this thing. I can really, and I'm telling you, I can, I can feel it when it's right. And I can take a look at it, and that's exactly what we're supposed to have here. So, a good idea to double check the blocks with micrometers. Anyway, let's go back to setting it. We're going to set the stop Remember we talked about we want two degrees and we can't get two degrees worth of gauge box, so we're going to set it for seven. So the way to set it for seven is to take away five in the first place. So we've set it to five here, and now I'm going to put the gauge blocks in. We're going to lock it down. I'm going to get the wiggle out of it. I'll tighten that up just a little bit more. I like that. Now we lift this up, lift the pin up, move it, and as you can see now, we're at two degrees, which is what we wanted. So how do we make sure that this doesn't move on us? Well, that's pretty easy. We take the other stop, and we're going to trap the pin so it can't move, like so, and we'll lock it down. That's how you get two degrees. Pretty simple, isn't it, Glenn? Oh, yeah. So that's the way we do it. If you want two degrees, remember, you don't have gauge blocks for two degrees, which happens to be 87 thousandths and two tenths, not going to work with a set of gauge box, right? So the way to do it is to use, add another five degrees to it, give you seven, take away five here, end up with two. Five from seven is two. Pretty simple. So that's how you set a master grind for two degrees. For those of you that inquired on it, hope this will be a helpful video for you. Thanks for watching.